revolutionary wrestling podcast prediction of Super Showdown. I am your King of Extreme, Phil KOE, joined by my indomitable broadcast partner, the reigning, defending, and colluding revolutionary wrestling podcast champion, Tony G. And I don't know why you're so upset, because when we look back at the film, Clear collusion. Hell in a Cell, Samoa Clear Joe collusion. clearly tapped out do. AJ, and Mick Foley counted three for Braun Strowman. But we will get to the bottom of this, Phil KOE Nation. Moving on to the future, not looking to the past. When do I ever do that? Never. Never. Super Showdown, <laughs> Australia. It's going to be a good one. All right, everybody, get all your little blokes and Sheilas around, because this is going to be a big show. All right, now that I got that out of the way. Okay, fair enough. <sighs> Moving on down the card, the Iconics versus Asuka and Naomi. As champion, you get first pick. Uh, this is one of those matches I expect to be your opener, because this is in Australia, and this is the Iconics' native home. Easy to pick the Iconics here, and... You really need to give this win to Asuka, but they're not going to. So, it's iconic. It's gotta be. I'm gonna, you know... Okay, to all our Australian fans, you might not get this, but from us Yanks, root, root, root for the home team. So, obviously, I'm gonna go with the Iconics. There you go. So, you know, not much of a difference there. Moving on to Buddy Murphy versus Cedric Alexander for the Cruiserweight Championship. Again, I same logic. Root, root, root yeah. for the foam team. I think we're going to see a new cruiserweight champion. I could be wrong. I think we will. I, I got to agree. I just don't see why you would make this landmark event in Australia and then not have your hometown heroes. Everything I've seen with. from Buddy Murphy has been very impressive, Oh, yeah. Too. Cedric, he's been a good um, placeholder. He's had a lengthy title run. I, I think this is the perfect opportunity and you know they got to have one title. He game. has made himself a legitimate champion, yeah. so going forward, him versus Buddy Murphy in rematches sure. or what have you will actually bring a little bit of attention. you got to expect <clears throat> at least one title change on this show. Pardon me, folks, the wonders of Harvest. This is an easy one to do. i gotta, I got to agree. Buddy Murphy wins the Cruiserweight title. Yep, all right. Now this one, this one's going to be really tough, Tony. This one. Okay. I am really torn. I mean, this one could really go either way. John Cena and Bobby Lashley versus Kevin Owens and yeah. Elias. I mean, we know the undefeated streak Elias has been on as of late. Is he, when was the last time Elias got a, a match? I mean, a real match. Uh, uh, with a finish. When, when does that matter? <laughs> when does that matter? Yeah. So, I got uh, Cena's going to pick up a quick win and be back on his plane to do his movie. So uh, Yeah, I think just because this is one of those super house show cards, you're paying to see the likes of John Cena. You're getting him this dream, I guess, matchup of him and Lashley. I will say what yeah. this will accomplish is in some way it will further Kevin Owens versus Bobby Lashley. I don't know how. Kind of. Uh, well, even if it's a post-match brawl. Sure. Whatever. I, I see this, A, it's a vehicle for John Cena to hit an attitude adjustment on somebody, get a one, two, three in Australia, and everybody yep. goes, yay! Yep. And then beyond that, yep. I see this as a way to further that vehicle of Kevin Owens and Bobby Lashley, which is actually starting to compel me. Uh, but That makes one of us. I feel sorry for Kevin Owens, because this is not a ideal situation for him. Making the best of it, as always, though. He can get the big man over with the best. Him and go. Sammy, it's, they're sublime at it. But all right, yeah. moving on down the card. The Bellas and Ronda versus the Riot Squad. You want to just do this one on three? One, two, three. Bellas, Bellas and Ronda. Ronda. Boy, uh, that was, that was tough. Uh, uh, that, you uh, know. A lot of discrepancy here between our picks so far. Armbar? You think it's going to be an armbar? By uh, golly, I, I think it might be an armbar. Yeah, all right. I think Ruby might get the armbar here. All right, here's the one that it might actually come down to. Number one contendership for the WWE Championship. <sighs> the Miz, Daniel Bryan. As champion, I'm going to give you the first pick. This is uh, one of those wild card matches on a very predictable card. Because it gives it's compelling not, stories. Yeah, since it's way. not for a title, but it does have title implications, you could go either way on this. Logic says with the 50-50 booking that this should be Daniel Bryan's win here because Miz won the first singles match. 
he and Maurice won the tag mixed tag match. <laughs> so, anyway, yeah. Ish. So, with 50-50 booking, that would tell you Daniel Bryan wins here. But my thoughts on the long-term storytelling for this feud are that this might culminate a lot further down the road. And how do you do that? You make Miz the number one contender here. I, I gotta mean, pick the Miz. You pick the man who came to play. I that did. was your pick. That's my pick. My pick is the man who will yes okay. defeat him. All right. That is my pick. Why? You are absolutely right. If Miz wins, it is actually compelling storylines going forward. You're absolutely right. And we could see this feud culminate in WrestleMania like it should. That being said, I really think a good, happy, yes, yes, yes chant win going sure. through all of Australia. They can fix that booking sure. later. And I think um, sure. putting Daniel Bryan and AJ in the ring, they should do that at Survivor Series, or maybe at SmackDown 1000, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, I, I was going to say, because it, if you make Daniel Bryan the number one contender, regardless of who wins the WWE title match later on that night, you've got Joe versus Great Bryan match. or AJ versus Bryan. That's terrific. You can put that on so, Crown Jewel, this and whole, both matches are good. It could all come down to this match. I'm rooting for you, Danny. I'm rooting for you. I, I almost picked him, too. That was a coin flipper, but yeah, I got to go with the Miz. And again, that's one that if I lose it, I'm really not even that upset about it because the Miz being yeah. number one contender is compelling. I could go either way. I so, wouldn't be upset either way that pans out. The next match. It's a new day versus the bar. Who you got on this? Got to pick the bar, right? No, this is going to be a new day win all the way. You know they're going to love the New Day in Australia. Come on. It's got to be the New Day. Come on. God, I am... Look, this is one I'm actually torn on. Oh, uh, it's, it's a New I Day I can see the, the bar taking it. Then pick them. Then pick them. You know, the more I think about it, you're absolutely right. It is going to be the New Day. Okay. Because, again, just like with my logic of Daniel Bryan's yes chance, they're going to want to have that huge pop of for the win. So. You gotta assume they're coming out with like a George Foreman grill and shrimp just so they can make a joke, right? I, I, I assume. Yeah, yeah maybe. I, I don't know. Like, <laughs> you never know how far they're gonna go with it. I mean, I, yeah. they could bring up Paul Hogan himself. I they don't could. even know. I they mean, that's... Ha! Ah, got that reference in! Ha! Ah! Okay. So, we both no got the New Day. day. Right. I buy a slim pickings. Yeah, it's a landslide New Day win. <sighs> Becky it Lynch is. versus Charlotte Flair. I'm all I'm going to say is this: Becky Lynch will leave with the championship. Oh, here we go. Here we go. You're going with your little your picks that could mean one thing, but could also mean nope, another to try nope. to slide in and take my title. Becky is going to leave with the championship one way or another, whether it be by disqualification, a double count out, whatever. Becky is going to somehow, some way, leave with the title. I don't necessarily think she's going to get the one, two, three, or the armbar on Charlotte, but she will continue to be champion come SmackDown. That is my that's, prediction. That's not much of a pick, though. You're, you're picking both of them. Well, I'm pretty <laughs> sure this is going to be a schmoz finish. Uh, it could be, but the thing is, what are they setting up for next? you got to look at the entire calendar, the rest of the calendar for the 2018 year. The next card is Evolution. We know that... They're trying to set up um, the card that they're trying to set up. They've only set up a couple matches, but the rumors were that they wanted Nikki Bella, Ronda Rousey. So that's match, one, maybe. you know, big name matchup. Who's going to be the bigger name for the SmackDown side of it? Is it Charlotte? Is it Becky? Well, right now, Becky's about as white hot as it gets. Like, they're cheering Becky, even though she's supposed to be the heel way over Charlotte. And I think both of the gals are kind of embracing Despite the way she's been booked, not because of the way exactly. she's been booked. Um, I'm going to make I'm a sure real... I'm sure you can understand that, Braun. I'm going to make a real pick here. Becky Lynch, as you said, does leave with the title. But yeah, I could just as well see the... Uh, 
wonky finish. Because yeah. you gotta know WWE's gonna give you one wonky finish, and this could definitely be Well, it. The, to me, that's a good way to continue this feud to evolution. And it should. And, you know, and then I, you know, I'm looking out a little far, but I think Charlotte will probably take it at evolution. But, again, we'll just have to see how it gets booked. Or does she take it here and then Becky gets it back at evolution? Because that was my first thought. You know, I, a part of me really thought that, but no. I just, yeah. I think it's going to be some sort of, like, they're both down and the ref gets all the way to ten or something I, I like that. I think Becky or, gets the one, two, three. I think she... Does something a little fishy to get it, but yeah, like you said, she's leaving with the belt. Well, we might come back to that later. So, moving right along to the WWE Championship against Samoan Joe. Not Samoan. Samoa Joe. That's right. And the phenomenal. Would you like to? AJ Styles! I have learned for a long time, don't bet against AJ. I got AJ walking away with you. got me. AJ. I got Wait. AJ. Clean. Okay. I uh, I did go out on a limb a bit to pick Joe on the last There's card. There's some rumors that are saying it's going to be a double KO. I think no way. It's going to be clean. No, this this one will be a clean finish, regardless of who wins. This is going to be a clean finish. Uh, I think they learned their lessons from the last several feuds that they made AJ go through a bunch of weird finishes in Kevin Owens, Nakamura. And they've already done two back-to-back DQ to a, ooh, Cloudy, who really won the last one finish. This one, the biggest thought I have here is what do they want to do heading into Survivor Series? Because we have to assume that Survivor Series will again be Raw versus SmackDown, right? If Samoa Joe were the WWE Champion heading into Survivor Series, and Roman Reigns is still a Universal Champion, and the two meet, which will undoubtedly be the main event, the fans will Boy, reject that. I was about to say, the last time that was the main event, it went so well, didn't it? I mean, exactly. I actually liked the match. I think, apparently, I was the only one. You were one from of every, few. From everything I read on the internet, apparently, yeah. it so, was me and... Like, Roman Reigns and Samoa Joe's mama. That, that was it. Those were like the, that match, apparently. So, I know we got Crown Jewel <coughs> before that. I, I'd love to see Samoa Joe take the win here. Just to kind of mix the feud up. And see AJ get it back at Crown Jewel. I think that would be the better way to book this. I think you get much more long-term sustainability out of it by having it change a little bit. It adds the little flair. And this has been booked to perfection. Loving the feud. All that said, yeah, I gotta go with AJ. I was really like, oh, come on! Come on! Go with Joe! I gotta go with AJ. AJ's yeah. on the cover of 2K19. They're not taking it off of him at least until TLC because Survivor Series is basically the big 2K advertisement yeah. pay-per-view. All right. So, moving on down the line... And no, you're, you're wrong with your orders there. So, the main event is not how you put it. So, yeah. well, the next match we will predict, The Shield versus Zig World Order. I don't care what they call it. You yeah. can call it the Dogs of War. It's the Zig World Order. Yeah, fine. So, who you got in this, champ? Uh, well, this will actually be the main event. Pretty sure Nope. I don't want to see it as a main event any more than no. you do. Nope. No. It will I not digress. Be, it will not be the main event. Uh, this one's pretty simple for me. There's no title on the line here. Mind you, the IC, Universal, and Raw tag belts are all involved in this match, so none of them can be on the line on this card. No title implications. Uh, the finisher Raw saw the Dogs of War. Sorry. Standing tall, blocking the shield. So, that's pretty telling. The shield wins. It's just that simple. And that's another reason I had to pick Becky, because Becky got trounced on SmackDown. I'm going to disagree. Oh my god. I'm disagreeing okay. here. 
Wow. I think it's going to be the Zig World Order, wow. not just because I'm a mark for them, but I think it's going to help the momentum of Braun, because he's losing a little bit of his right. momentum. Right, all right. And this is going to help push him back forward. And right. But you never know, I think it's going to be some kind of sowing the seed to discontent within the shield, which they are really pushing. Right, right. So I'm thinking it's going to be okay. the Zig World Order. I think the only other reason i got to pick the shield would be because... He's Universal Champion. Plus, it'll be the main event. But no! <laughs> this is the first time Not be the main event that first. the shield, as the actual shield, the actual three members, have done a six-man tag match in how long? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I was about to say, uh, Kurt, you were a great last-minute replacement, but uh, uh, you, you do have a point there, but no, I'm sticking all with right, my prediction. Right, it's going to be the Zig World Order. All right, good enough. Um, so, moving on to the real main event of the well, show. and should folks, be the main event. Let us know in the comments which one you think is going to be the main event. It's the shield. It's going to be Triple H versus... Be. The Undertaker. So, I'm not even going to, I'm taking this Go one ahead. as one of the world's By biggest Undertaker marks in the world. When WrestleMania 14 rolled around, I didn't care about a single match on that <laughs> card other than Kane versus The Undertaker. So, that being said, not just because I'm a mark, but because I see some forward booking. The Undertaker. Will retain. <laughs> yeah, nothing earth shattering here. Got to go with the Undertaker, and honestly, uh, with all the rumors swirling about the potential for Sean Hunter versus Kane Taker at Survivor Series or whatever, God, if they could hold that uh, one off from Mania, I would just do it there. I mean, I don't see any reason to give that away in Survivor Series. I don't even want to see that because... Well, yeah, I'm so happy for you. Me, on the other hand, I would love to see well, the last ride the of the Brothers of Destruction against D-Generation That's X. not the so point. So bully for you, Tony that's G. That's not the point. The KOE you know exactly Nation on the other side. exactly what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, is that the match that you really wanted to see Shawn Michaels come out of retirement for? Is that... Honestly, the match? No, it's not. Oh, Don't yeah, because the last time Shawn Michaels and Undertaker were in the ring, I, that, was, that wasn't even really that good of a match, right? You know yeah. exactly what I'm talking about, and you're just I'm, being contrary. They will, put, they will make sweet, beautiful music. Trust me. And it won't, of course it'll be good, but that's not the match that we want. And Kane, unfortunately, be the one in the best condition to take all the bumps. Mm. I guess. <laughs> that and Triple H, he's in pretty good shape. Yeah. So... Yeah, that I guess the forward booking, said, it doesn't matter. Undertaker's not losing another match until WrestleMania when he loses to John Cena. Maybe, maybe. Uh, no, you maybe. know, even if it's not booked, I'm going to put a prediction for next year because I sure got burned last time. So, that all being said, join us, folks. At three in the morning. When time. WWE goes down under, gather all your blokes and Sheila's. It's going to be a great card.